Welcome to our Shining Force 3 Scenario 3 stream, and today you need to know that I... I am hurt, right. and I'm old, and I, I'm fucking tired, I totally, and I work with fucking children. I re yeah, it's gonna be one of those days and one of those recordings. I love my little man, but I have been- he has been sick, and it has been fatty daycare day all day. Um, so, let's get into this. I am a little out of it. So, why I think I'm a little out of it, and so I don't think today, you know, if you're looking for rip, witty repartee, today is not going to be a high quality day for that. Um, and I'm kind of throwing a recording away. So, you've been warned. So, we are in this battle. We're in pursuit of Brutus. Brother Brutus, the Paul Bear. He has uh, ran away down here, and he's left General Edmund and his merry band of soldiers here to try to stop us and compete with us. Um, but what's more important, and what's going to slow us down in this battle, is there is a nice, juicy cave here, uh, which we're going to get in, which is going to give us a lot of stop and start, oh, I've moved my attacker, now I'm doing this, and a lot of just waiting around as we kind of wait to engage. Also, if we notice performance impacts on this map and the game running slowly, part of that is just in general, I have noticed this map sort of doing poor performance. Um, and another thing I've kind of noticed is... Another thing I've kind of noticed is what I'm actually going to do, what I'm doing right now is I am... I am streaming for the first time in a very long time, uh, just so I have a video backup, because I'm starting to get um, a little further ahead um, in my recordings and my editings. What, what I generally like to do is record, edit, and come back. And sort of do one play, do one play. Uh, but what I've been talking about, Gracia, excellent. What I've been talking about on previous streams is I think I'm going to start running out of time to do this because when my son finishes daycare, it's going to be a lot harder to sort of have a, a, a cheery and calm environment from which to play. Uh, so I think I'm going to try to like get ahead a little. Uh, so uh, I used to stream and record all at the same time, like stream, live stream. Um, and then when I, I, I did it with, the uh, I did it at the start of Scenario 2 and I noticed a significant amount of slowdown. And I wasn't sure if that was the stream that was causing that slowdown, or if that was, uh, the, just the game running crappy. And unfortunately, this map is not a good test of that. Because if you remember on our last playthrough, this map was running crummy. But these cutscenes were running good. So we're kind of going to see what what goes on here. We're going to have a, a watchful eye. Well, crud, that is exactly... Well, you know what? I'm kind of, I'm kind of happy this happened. I was going to say, I'm not happy we got an engagement here. But I'm okay with what's happened. Uh, this is going to let Harold... Harold, our gunner, who we have just recruited, gonna let him come into the party. Don't let him get a kill, which might be the only kill you get, gunner. I think you, Harold. Um, maybe we'll call you gunner. That's a better name than Harold. Uh, I think he's actually got two kills, but I, I have never been a fan of uh, brass gunners to begin with, and Harold, Harold's not helping the cause here, huh? It's just as I've heard. Julian Army, I'm happy to meet such a strong opponent. However, I'm also a man whom Imperial Armies feared as a Republican general. I'm not afraid of any of you. You will be. You will be. If you plan to head to Aspia, you'll have to defeat me. Well, I hope you stay put and you don't come attack us. Because that would be... That'd be a mistake for you, Edmund. 
so we're still gonna stay put because I do want to dive into these caves uh, but I don't want to dive in too much no you are gonna be aggressive I can't tell if the slowdown we're seeing is stream related you stay put that's right Edmund you stay put also if you noticed longtime watcher has actually been paying attention and seen me the bitching I, I don't know if that's the word complaining about um Rassia and his uselessness in battle um I'm having an experiment here because Gracia has the two things he has aura and he has the shining spell now the shining spell takes all his MP so I never use it but if I give him goddess goddess tears that will let me recover his MP fairly easy one would suspect um so I could theoretically keep using this uh, over and over again and have a good time. You stay put. You guys are going to come down, I assume. All right. So next turn, we're going in with what we have here. And we're going to leave these stragglers to sort of deal with the... Oh, man. The Cyclops problem. You know what? This this Blaze 2 is proving to be much, much more useful than I thought it would be here. Oh, I thought this, this Blaze 1 is proving to be... Oh my god, Harold. This is... This is... This is your time. Weapon triangle attack? Nope. Harold... We're trying to find a spot for you. You're not making it easy here, bud. Leon, though. Leon, our lion warrior. So what we're doing... While we're doing... Our boring battle here. I think it's time for us to, editor, you're gonna need to make a big intro for this, big smorgasbord intro, so get on it when we when we go into this and we're not live. It's time for Mario Movie Review in a couple words. It's fine. That's the end of our Mario Movie Review. Thanks for watching. Oh uh, yeah, so hook the little man to go see the Mario movie. Um, and I mean, let's be honest here. Uh, I was gonna go see this mythical Mario movie regardless if I had a four-year-old kid or not. It was happening. And you hear the lion roar. Um, and I'm not gonna get too much into it. It was fine. It's a kid's movie. Um, oh, oh Edmund. Well, crap. This is not what we wanted to happen. We have pulled Edmund, the boss. Okay, there are two bosses here. So it's possible I can kill Edmund and not have the map end, but I'd really like not to chance that. <laughs> We're also going to move all of our force away. You stay put. Okay. That's, but we're, we're a little worried here. But yeah, I would say my biggest complaint... I wonder if I can just put you to sleep. That would solve a lot of problems here. Um, the Mario movie was just it, really safe um, in its execution. Nice. Put Edmund to sleep. You stay asleep, Edmund. Don't, don't come in here and... Uh, Attack us. Uh, Roly, if you can handle this. Alright, you... Okay. Oh, this is... This is not how this map is supposed to go. This is supposed to be a boring map. I'm supposed to talk about movies. I'm supposed to loot stuff. But now... Everything is happening. I feel like Bob Cole. No, I'm not editing in Bob Cole references. 
or reference Bob Cole was the play-by-play -play announcer for the CBC, um, did a lot of Maple Leafs games. Uh, legendary voice. Um, he is now retired. Anyway, Mario movie, video game content. Um, I feel like it's almost the antithesis, antithesis to the uh, 1993 Mario Brothers movie, um, where th that's a wacky, crazy, off-the-wall movie, but it's interesting. Like, you watch it, and there's so many layers of, like, what is going on here? I don't even know. Um, you should have the weapon advantage. Alright, Pruden, let's see what you got. Um, and it, I don't want to say that there's heart or there's charm, but there's, there, there's a trying. Um, and in this Mario movie, just, it just seems like it plays it extremely safe. Um, and that's that's not necessarily making it bad, but it just it feels safe, it feels soulless. I enjoyed it, but y y yeah, that's about it. But do you know what else? Do you know what else it's time for? We're gonna do another one. Editor, intro please. Tetris Movie Review 2023, reviewed in a couple words. Fantastic. I really loved it. End of Tetris Movie Review. Um, yeah, we, uh, we also watched Tetris, and uh, it was fan freaking -tastic, if I do say so. Uh, we're not going to try to pull people down. As much as I want to go in there and kill that mage, I don't want to run the risk of other things coming. Um, yeah, the Tetris movie was uh, amazing. Like, obviously it was completely off the wall and nonsensical. There be dragons in here. Edmund is asleep. That's right, Edmund is asleep. You stay asleep. Gracia, you, you're just gonna chill here. For now. You stay put, because you're the boss, right? Yeah, you're the boss. You stay completely put. Roly, you only have so much MP. I don't know what the best decision is here. Come here. Okay, I can tell you what it wasn't. It wasn't to let Gracia come in and get hit. 23 damage. Gracia is in danger. Gracia is in danger. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I figured you'd be fine, but we need, like, fire alarms going off. Alright, good. Did I say good? Good might be the wrong word, but, um, better. Better. Alright, Gracia is... Alright. Number one priority here. Kill this Pegasus Knight. Alright. Can't do that. Leon, I need a big... I need a big Lion's Roar attack for me. Give me something. That's a big Herald. Alright, speed. This is why you suck, Brass Gunners. You, Melinda. Melinda. You need to stay put. I feel too, like, frazzled to even figure out what I'm supposed to do on this map. Ooh, listen to this thing, Chunk. I am sorry. I, this has to be because I'm streaming at the same time. Uh, and I apologize if that is the case. So we have a bunch of treasure chests here. We have one that's trapped behind the barrel. Uh, so these are, I assume these are locked. And I can get to the other ones, so... We have dragons. We want to kill these dragons. Uh, so... You can just loot this. Yeah, you can loot this. The other two are locked. So... Priority one, deal with this barrel.
But I think I'm gonna stream my gameplay, maybe not for the next one I do. Um... Because it could just be this area. That's really bad. So, the thought process is... I can swing around here. Go, get me a dragon, Cyclops. I need a better computer. To keep up with my craziness. Alright. I have flying units. Go get me treasure. What'd you treasure? A potion. I mean, a potion. Yeah, it's... It's a chug a -lugging. But this is why we do these experiments. To remember that once again, I was right in my analysis. You have no point, Green Dragon. We're out of here. And in here, in there was only treasure. Edmund wakes up. That's his turn. That's fine. But we are... Stuff is happening. Alright. Number one. There's probably better units to kill this strike, Pegasus Knight. Just get rid of him, Julian. Make him disappear. Please. Thank you. Gracia, you are not at full health. You Do you have a healing drop? That's right, you have a healing drop. Because I had the foresight. The foresight. We go purchase healing items and healing drops prior to this. Because we're good at this game. We're good at this game, damn it. Alright, you... We're not gonna be so lucky. I know it, you know it. We all know it. But maybe... Maybe we can get lucky. Maybe fortune favors the bulls. We are gonna try to sleep Edmund again. It needs to be pointed out here. I'm gonna jinx myself right now. I have never seen sleep miss. No effect on the math mage. Clutch. You are clutch, Rolly. This guy has no MP. So does that guy. They all have no MP. They're all in joke range. They're all in the we're just gonna clean up this mess range. Worried? Why would we be worried? You know what, Isabella? Oh my god. That's the square I want you to stand on. Hit him with this spectacular tornado level 1 spell. You know, maybe I should just switch my rods and hit them. But that's not what I'm about. Alright, Pruden. I think it's time you finally hit something with a sword. Although I think you might have just hit something with a sword last round. That's a Shiva sword. That's 20 XP. You know what I have to say? We are sitting here and we are giving Harold a lot of crap. And he's taking it. But it's not like Pruden is out here blowing us away. Harold's got a level. Let's see what gains you get. One, one. You get archer gains. Get out of here, Harold. All right. So, are we just? Yeah, we're just nicely chilling. Crisis point averted. We can basically come here, let the thief open all the locked chests at once. Um, that one's also locked, so we're gonna have to wait for the thief there. And that's lame. I would like to get both of these dragons if I can, please. Should I just be attacking barrels? Like, it's free XP. It's boring, but it's free XP. So let's talk about my ins my my inspiration for these playthroughs and all this crazy editing that I do. Ooh, it, it had a point. Lance, level up. Um, how much damage did you take there, Cyclops, old boy? Enough, but not too much. We're gonna hit you with the freeze level one because I will never use my MP. Um. So my, my inspiration has always been uh, OSW review, 
they're a, a wrestling sort of podcast review show that's kind of crazy and funky. Um, 39 defense, 62 attack. We do the math. Unless you do a crazy crit or something. You know what, Donner? No. I can't run the risk of you doing a crazy crit or something. Uh, and they do sort of like wrestling podcast reviews, but they, they also splice in these really fun... Now remember, that's not a Cyclops kill. There is no Cyclops lever for that kill. We do get to hear the music of his people. But there is no Cyclops lever, because that's not a kill. That's a dragon recruited. Bring me my red dragons. I want my dragons. All right, and thousand. We've looted one chest. You're locked. Why don't you come down here? Now I know what you're saying. You're saying, hey, can we magically sleep Edmund again? Okay, that's not what we're saying. Oh no, I don't like, oh no, I don't have the MP. Oh no, oh no, Edmund's gonna come in here and he's gonna run wild on our party, brother. He's got a 66 attack. Little back in the corner there. All right, here's what we're doing, team. It's called Block All Access to... Mede oh, Medea and Ed, Melinda. What do you have for defense, Melinda? Why won't you tell me your stats, Melinda? You scare me, Melinda. He should... Yeah, but he... See, here's the thing. He shouldn't be able to come get her. Cool, great. I don't know where she's gonna move to. And that's the concern. Where are you going to move to, Melinda? Good, you didn't move. That's what we want to see. All right, what did you loot? Oh, Chaos Ring. I have to hit you now, because that is very important to me to get the Chaos Ring. Uh, so we have this other locked chest here. And that's all we really care about. Do you have a healing item? Yes, because, as I pointed out earlier, I've stocked up. Again, I am not better at this game than anyone else. I am just cocky. Ooh, Dark Matter. Chaos Ring and a Dark Matter. Could you be telling me any harder? Hey. Make a cursed weapon. You're going after Commander Pruden. Commander. Oh, look at those. Look at that. That parry. Those those fencing skills. The skills of an artist. Isabella needs to heal. You can't do anything. This is this is the boring. Well, we're gonna sit around part that I have been talking about that I knew was gonna happen, that I've already, you know, already thrown out my Mario review movies, my Tetris review movies. Tetris is awesome, by the way. We're gonna talk about it again. Sensationalized, but what a, a good, fun time that movie was. Harold, you will do nothing. Lion, Leo, you will chill. Melinda, you will chill. We are fine. We're still, you know, if the AI wanted to be jerks, you didn't move. You didn't move. I mean, is there anything that I even care about? Like, is there something blocking your way? Do these barrels scare you? You can get out. The path is clear. What's the deal, thief? Because you're about to get hit. Because I'm going to be real honest with you. I don't think there's another item I care about more than the Chaos Ring in here. 
and my time is precious, and I am thinking I... I am thinking I can end this. Get revenge on Cyclops for what he did to your brother. You will soon be enslaved, Red Dragon. Is it? No, it's not enslaved. He's a dragon. Well, I'm, uh... Oh, now you're going after Leon. Woohoohoo! Edmund, my boy! That was an attack. Isabella does the healing. Alright. I'm gonna make you all a promise. Next turn. Regardless of what happened in... I don't have the Chaos Ring yet. Gotta remember that. Regardless of what happens in the cave, we will deal with Edmund. No, you, you, you hold a very important defensive position in the line of... Don't hit... Melinda. Alright. So, what I really need to do... Alright, is hit this thief. And this thief now appears to have... I wonder if I'll ever get uh, a level 2 drain. Uh, what we really need to do here is... Hit this thief, take her chaos item. Super important, make sure it gets done. Pegasus Knight, um... Hit him. If you kill him, you kill him. Oh my god. If you kill him, you kill him. But you didn't. Thought it was gonna go bad. Alright, what- Oh, this fly axe. Oh, that's all- It's all good stuff. We don't need the parrot. We don't need the fairy powder. Alright, you know what we're gonna try to do? We're gonna give you a path to that locked chest. So hopefully you will come and loot it on your next turn. Then we will kill you on your next turn. We will not recruit this dragon, unfortunately. Because that thief is likely going to die before this dragon gets recruited. And that seems like short-sightedness on my part. Unless, do I think I can get Honesty down here to do the damage? To do the- well, here's the thing. Here. If I put the green dragon here, that should let the thief come, get the chest, then Cyclops, and... Cyclops and Thousand. Woohoo! Cyclops and Thousand can come in and do the deed. Alright, Julian. Speaking of doing the deed, teach General Edmund a lesson here. We got an icebreaker. Icebreakers. The best 42 damage. We are frozen in place. Effects on the boss. You are an absolute animal. You know, we could just all pull back from him. But if he dies, he dies. Because we have two bosses. So, theoretically here. We should be okay. Kill him. And the map not it. Right? Right? We should be okay. We're not gonna kill him on this turn. I'm a big fat liar. Maybe I'll let Harold fight this. Hit the other boss. Look at that. He's got freaking laser bullets. Laser bullets. That's an oxymoron. You can't have laser bullets. We have you surrounded, Edmund. Give up. You better go loot them. Um, sir. You were supposed to loot this chest for my plan to work. He didn't loot the chest. And we're gonna make the executive decision? 
I don't care. Whatever that treasure is, I'm gonna go look it up when I finish this video. Whatever that treasure is, we don't care. How dare you not loot that chest? I, I'm not even gonna let a, a, a main character kill you. I'm gonna let my friggin' green dragon kill you. No, maybe it's stuck. Everybody lives. Everybody lives. Boring. Boring. I'm not gonna kill the thief. But you know what? I might not be everybody lives. Cyclops might not live now. Oh, okay. Oh. Does the plan work? Does the plan work itself into fruition? He killed it! Game! Game! He killed the dragon. Oh. You know what that means? That was an actual kill. Cyclops lever. Fire it up. Luke. An old friend. She wants me dead. Why am I not surprised? Also, I'm sorry. I just rotated my mic arm. It might have made a big vroom sound. Also, Cyclops, my man. Totally disappointed in you. I'm taking out the logic. Good. Breathe fire all over this stupid thief. Kill him. Good. I, 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 I say good day to these ruins. They are stupid ruins. I am not impressed with these ruins. I don't want anything else that's in those ruins. You cast a tornado level 1. Edmund, you tactical genius deal. What would we have done? But, to anybody who's actually watching the stream, which I doubt you are, um, I'm not engaged with the chat or whatever, um, and to anyone watching along on YouTube after we've edited this crap out of this one, I'd like to thank you all for joining us. I'm gonna save, I'm gonna go find out what item I missed in the cave, and we'll see all you guys later.